so hello everyone in this video i am going to explain you the kdd process and i already explained in my, in my previous video about the ex definition and the basic diagram so here i am going to explain the basic diagram so this is the raw data and this is the knowledge in between these we are going to perform these three steps so what is raw data in the sense we are going to get some input data from the user so this is nothing but the input data and it should be large when it is large the knowledge we gain is a uh, co contains less errors if the raw data is small it contains less error so it should be in, in many formats it might be in many formats sorry uh, it might be in flat sheets or spreadsheets or it might be in a table format in it might be in any formats so we are just going to convert this format into a knowledge so in data preprocessing we are just convert the raw data into an appropriate format of data so we are just going to convert this raw data into an appropriate format of data so to perform this that is this conversion So these are the four major steps in data preprocessing. So in data integration, what it will do is it will just combine all the data sources. So for example, take four stores of same company or four one store of four branches. So we are collecting the data of first first branch, second branch third branch fourth branch so we are going to combine all these branches into a file so data selection so we are going to select a subset so here we are combining multiple data sources and in this step we are going to select uh, the unwanted data only so we are going to select only the want un sorry wanted data for data mining task so select particular subset of sources so we are going to select a particular subset of sources for data mining process so in this data cleaning we are just going to remove the unwanted noise and we are going to fill the missing data we are so data cleaning is something but we are just going to clean or cleanse the data by removing all the unwanted noise that is the noise present in the data and we are just going to fill up the missing data so some values are might be missed so we are going to fill up this missing data so data transformation in data transformation we are just going to consider consolidate the data into an appropriate format for the data mining task so we are just going to consolidate the data into an appropriate format for data mining task so data mining so here data mining is nothing but we are just going to apply some methods for example decision making methods and so on many methods are going to apply in this step and this i'll explain this step later so now coming to data pre-processing so now i'll be explaining you about data post processing so data post processing includes only two steps what are those two steps if filter pattern so this is first step 
and visualization we are going to visualize the data so these are the two steps in data post processing so what is the first step is filter pattern so we are going to filter a pattern from the data from the collection of large repository of data so we are going to extract a pattern from the data so visualization is nothing but we are going to visualize that is we are going to see the data in another format or or in another view so we are just going to convert the numerical value numerical value of the data so we are just going to convert the numerical data into a graphical data so we are going to see this data in a graphical view for example we are go we might use like this so it, it is the final knowledge the final we know this is the output and it is the appropriate format so why we are using this knowledge is to utilize for decision making process so we are going to use this knowledge for making decisions for future i hope you understand thank you